I don't know what the last time. We're going to the Go ahead and call the meeting to order. It's Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Patton, what you doing? Our gracious Lord and our Father in heaven, we come before you this evening humbling ourselves and ask you to bless us as we enter to this meeting. Bless us with compassion for our citizens. Bless us with understanding of their needs and the wisdom how to find the solution for the things that we have to take care of in this city. Bless us in our efforts. God, God, direct our steps. These things we ask in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Okay, welcome everybody out tonight. Uh, First items, the approval of minutes. Make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is approval of the bills. Move pray all bills. Second. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. That motion passes. Old business. First item is donation to the first responders dinner. I think you were going to, somebody was going to check, maybe David, and he's not hearing it, like how there was a gold and a silver and like what. Yeah, and I don't remember. I don't know if he ever checked on it. That, we'll just table that again. Because it's not till February, so we've got. Well, I'm going to ask when it was. It's in February. February. Are they wanting a donation from us? Yeah. They're asking for all the, the counties doing some. They're asking the cities that can. Okay, next item, nominations for Board of Adjustments. Uh, we've got two spots open, but I do have one person to put up, and that's Joyce Crump. And I'd like to put her up as a representative for the City of Beaver Dam on the Planning and Zoning Board of Adjustments. Make the motion that we um, approve Joyce Crump to be on the Planning and Zoning Board of, Board of Adjustments. I'll <laughs> second that. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. 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 Opposed, same. That motion passes. Do you have anybody at all scripting in? I was just going to ask you all if you all have any. <laughs> what does the Board of Adjustments even do? I don't, I don't they do, like if there's a variance or something. They don't meet very <coughs> often. They only meet as needed. If somebody's coming in and want to put a business in some place that they have to have a... Uh, well, I never remember the word she calls it. Variance? variance. Well, no, it's a conditional use permit. Yeah. Which it's like a variance, but it's a conditional use permit that they have to come in and Hold on. do because some, even in business districts, there's some businesses that can't go in just because it's a business. It has to have, there's not a lot to it, but. And if they don't have <coughs> enough square footage of what they want to do, they can do anything like that. Side limits and stuff, and depends on what's around it and all that good kind of fun stuff. Well, we'll be able to look out for a second. Uh, have, uh, it's not an emergency thing, but it won't meet until after the holiday. There won't be nothing going on. I doubt it. So hopefully we got a little bit of time to get one. Well, and they've got, they're operating, it's, but it's still, we're still one short. short. Okay, next item is under new business, new price for cemetery lots. Yes, I think Jill had called around and got some pricing. Okay, so the Morgantown Smith Funeral, they're... Lots are five hundred dollars. And the Rose Hill in Mulemer County, they're six hundred dollars. And then Orangeboro was really expensive. Was what? Really expensive. In the really, city it is. Really. Yeah, like one of them's three thousand one hundred and fifty dollars. It's real Where was that at? In Orangeboro. I thought I figured. I thought the city, in the city it's really expensive. Yeah. What's Morgantown? You said what's, what's Smith? It's a funeral home. They own the cemetery? No, the city hall actually takes care of it. It's got a different name. I can't think of it. My grandparents are buried there. What's ours? 400. Really not that far off from those other cities about our size in. Not that far off. But we got variants. That 400 is the highest, isn't it? It's the highest, yeah. What's in the old section still? 
250 or 300. How many left in that section? Not a whole lot. I didn't think there were. They're all about full. <clears throat> but why would they be priced differently? The new section at 400, they actually had an engineering firm come in and, and design it, lay it out. You know, there's pegs. That's something that we had done here on one well, of the Well, and I think I remember I was here when they did that, left the 250, that someone come in and needed a single plot. It might be a practice for someone that needed to save some money and take one of those old plots yeah. that could save about, you know, a couple hundred dollars on a, on a plot. That's why we left it at 250 Because they're not, like you say, single and very, very few doubles. Well, and, and, you know, death is always such a very touchy subject, touchy subject but, you know, normally, 99.9% of the time, that's the only income we get. You know, there's really no donations left to us. So it's, it, it comes back before we have to have a transfer out of the general. So that's why we was asking, you know, what we should charge for the new ones because when they pay that one-time fee, that's for eternity. I wouldn't care to see the 500, but I wouldn't mind going higher because it'd be competitive with our neighbor cities of our size. You know, that's, I wouldn't want to be above, too much above them. Any what is the one in Hartford? Did you see? What was it? Hartford. 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 I don't think it's ever changed yet. I think they were four hundred dollars each with a fifty dollar I mean that is my thing. What do y'all? What do you Do you think we should go up to five hundred? It, it, it would definitely help. I mean we're actually saving money by subbing the mobile out. Believe it or not. So if that and it's looking good too. That, whoever's that, doing it. That has helped. <clears throat> not that you all didn't look good, but say, but for hiring it out. Can I ask how many lots we sell a year? Do you think average wise? Uh, I've got it broke down the budget. I can tell you the number that I use. But would we still keep the $250 plot? Oh, yeah. Now they pay, we paid that whole lot, so it's let ready is that for the plan? anybody. Yep. I wonder how the that. budget number I use is it's at 30 lots a year. 30. It's 12,000 a year. Yep. Would we still keep the $250 plot still in the Yes. Okay. yes Everything else will stay the same. This would just be on the new section we're starting. Mm -hmm. Oh. So the ones, mm -hmm. why? Uh, wouldn't you be better off go ahead and do them all? It would make more sense, but I mean, in, the, in the past they never had it. They always left the old rate there, and then the new section would be more. It's easier for him to say it's X amount of dollars. I think it ought to be X amount of dollars across the board. Across the board. It makes a little more sense. But the previous, some of the previous commission wouldn't go for that. But there's not many left in that old section, so it wouldn't make a lot of difference for anybody. I think if we want to raise it, 500 would be about what I want to do. Across for all of them? Well, for all of them, <coughs> yeah. Old and new. Let's make it a motion. We go $500 across the board for all of, all of them. Second. second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Effective when? Uh, I do it. January 1, 12 and all. I just made it, I guess. I, yeah, it should be immediate because okay. it's not something that. I just want to make you know sure. that we have to. If I ask, you want to make sure. It's not like a water bill that somebody's already got so much. In the Larry, process of getting water remember water. my right at the old price. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I was getting ready to ask. Do Does we anybody have make payments on, on Connor's, the Connor's the only one. In process buying them right now. Connor's the only one. Nobody, nobody now. Several okay. there, so. Okay. But, you, but you've already done that. Yeah. Because <clears throat> I was saying, what I was trying to get at is if I feel like if we've been talking with someone already, they should be get the price that was quoted. Correct. Okay. Did we vote on that, Jill? We did. Yes. Okay. I knew we got the motion a second. I couldn't remember if I we actually did the vote. We did. Did we vote? We did it all in favor. I did? You did. did not. Okay. okay. No, you didn't vote. Thank you. Thank you for that. I think we you didn't did know it. It's been a, been a rough weekend. We're all in favor.
<laughs> Those in favor signify by the aye. Opposed, uh, saying that motion passes. I'm going to uh, on cemetery. Uh, Larry? Yes. Mr. Berryman on the farm next to the cemetery? Yes. Uh, plan on getting that far corner, uh, 62, cleaned out by the people that rent his farm, but right up next to the fence. Would we, you know, it needs to be cleaned out a little bit right on inside the fence on his side. Would we do that or we contract that with the people? Could we get, get them if to? If it's on his side, it would be him. Yeah. I'll tell him he needs to get his farm people to do that okay. side then. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Next time on the agenda is more or less for just discussion, but it's looking, I wish I'd made more copies and I apologize. <clears throat> We're wanting to do a new logo for the city. I know we, some of us have all talked about it because the one we have now still talks about 1998. Uh, we've got some samples to look at. Uh, I like the one in the middle. So I like the one at the top. <laughs> I like the well, one at the bottom. <laughs> I like the one on the back page. No, it's not going along so well. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, for the room, and my sole reason for it was to try to keep something compact. Gotcha. Instead of spread, spread out everywhere. See, that's the reason why I like the one in the middle because it's spread out. Yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, like, you put it on a shirt or something, yeah. look how big it would be. Yeah. Yeah. Or it'd be so, you'd have to scrunch it up so much it wouldn't be. And when and you print, imprint that bottom one, you couldn't read it probably on an imprint. Yeah. But I still like it. Hmm. <laughs> I do too. I like them all. I mean, I, all of them are good. There's not really a bad one in the bunch. I'd be happy with any of them. Yeah. I'm not. And that, none of them really. I mean, I like the top one because it's it is compact. Boy, that looks really good that right looks here like on a barrel. <laughs> well, that's what it is. That's what I hate about it. It's a barrel. Well, it's being a bourbon barrel. But we got to play on. I know. <laughs> I know. I, I, I'm flexible. I'll be flexible. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I'll be uh, flexible. Got to be. Got to bend. Yeah. Yeah, that one's definitely my favorite. People that's retiring this year don't get a vote. Do what? People that's retiring this year don't get a vote. Well, I'm not retiring this year, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> he retired next year. I like them all. I, I, that's what I was. I like them all. I couldn't think anyone was any better than it. The middle one, I like for a sign. Mm -hmm. I would love a sign out I like here. the little... You know that ass. sign I keep wanting to build out here by the top? We do need an upgrade to sign, so... Well, I'm, I'm all for it. Big ones like what, what Bowling Green has. I love that. Oh, we're spells that Bowling Green, and yeah, the, that one on the park where you come from, Nashville. <clears throat> that is gorgeous. I know, I know. I, I know. I'm good with any. I'm like you. I think that one might be difficult to. It seems like even though there's probably about as much, it seems like it's kind of jumbled. And remember, we're supposed to get shirts ordered before any, next year at KLC. Remember, I'm fine with any guy. I do like about that. About three or four, one for every day. <laughs> I just right. want one we can wear on logo day or whatever they called it. I forgot what they city day. Yeah, I something, yeah. Because I felt bad. We were about we were one of the few that didn't have one. There was there was most of them had one. Larry, do you have anything? No, I have nothing. Sandy, do you have anything? I do not. No, I'm in good shape. Believe it or not, I'm in good shape. Well, I'm gonna have to go into closed session. I'm sorry to tell you. But that's okay. That's well, point. put it down that Kevin had nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just leave him here? Jill. <laughs> I'll if you want me to stay in here, I'll Do you have it. anything? Chris? Uh, Mike wanted to let you guys know the boys do good. They passed their first written, uh, first practical test, and they're doing the firearms now. So everything's going good. Their schedule will be done in February? Uh, no, they'll be done March 14th, their graduation. Oh, I thought it was February. Okay. Well, uh. they get two weeks off for Christmas and New Year's, and they get a week off Thanksgiving. Bless them. Put them back I hope they're doing well. I'm glad they're doing well. I'm glad they're doing well. Do you have anything? Yes, I do. Okay. Do we want to skip you then? No. <laughs> she asked me, and I didn't know the answer. It's good so. to see you, by the way. <laughs> me too. Me too. All I do is work. Or... Well, you don't have kids at Beaver anymore. Uh, this is my grandbabies. Um, I got two. Yeah, two grandbabies. Mm -hmm. um, my lots down here. There's an alley road there in the middle of it. And the new, the people that bought that uh, house off map are using it. And they're driving <coughs> over in the yard, and it needs to be graveled or something. Fixed up. Where's this at? Between Broaden. It's, it's right down here between 3rd and 4th Street. 
Road Madison and Broad there. Yeah, Madison and Broad. I couldn't think of the other street's name. I that's, is that, that's the only block they run that way, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> it's just aggravating to mow and when it rains, the puddles. And is it the one that comes up by the Englishes? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Is there any utilities or anything in it? No. Can we get rid of it? Yep. How'd you like to have part of it? Okay. And then they can't drive there. <laughs> I don't hurt my feelings then. She'll need to take a description of her deed and everything to AB. Well, well, because we've got all those, a bunch of property owners through there. We'll have to talk to all of them to see how they want to do it. But Is someone using it that lives there or they're remodeling? Um, They were remodeling and I wasn't, you know, wasn't saying anything then, but it's still being, yeah. Now the one, the alley it actually comes out over on Madison that Clayton English uses, which I think he rents from Scott. We, I don't think that we can divide that up and give it to the other property owner since that's his sole interest to his house. We may have to give that whole section there to Scott. We're on. <clears throat> we're across this, when you come off Madison. Oh, off Madison. Then we're comes to Clayton's house. I don't even know. It's no. a press a big ditch, the big ditch right there. That's but it's at only entrance to yes. their so house. It sounds like it could be divided up three different ways, then maybe. The uh, the other on back can be divided up evenly. Divide. I don't care what you do, the other side. <coughs> <laughs> there's like. We usually want so that they don't run it up and make yeah. it where you can't get in and out. Yeah, I get it. I'm just, just trying to maintain it. I don't have Let's do a little research on that before the okay. meeting in December and see what Larry can come up with. No, he didn't say no, so we're good to go. Do you have any? Okay, can I entertain a motion to go in closed session? Make a motion. Go in closed session. <coughs> and I'll stay out here if y'all want me to. Yes, I mean. <laughs> <laughs>did have a closed session. There was no business conducted during the closed session, and we are back in open session. Does anyone have anything else to bring up before the commission? Uh, There's a definite on time and date. Mm -hmm. Okay. I move to adjourn. Second.